Days after this elephant gave birth, the images of her babies shocked the whole world. Bella, a majestic elephant of the Amboseli National Park in Kenya, had always been a source of fascination for both the park staff and visitors. With her strong presence and a history of being a dutiful mother to her first offspring, she'd become an emblem of motherhood in the elephant world. However, her second pregnancy was vastly different from the first. While the initial stages were uneventful, complications arose as the pregnancy advanced, drawing widespread attention and concern. Amboseli National Park, with its breathtaking views of Mount Kilimanjaro and vast open plains, has always been a sanctuary for elephants. These magnificent creatures roam freely, making it a haven for researchers, wildlife enthusiasts, and photographers alike. But amidst this serene setting, Bella's challenging pregnancy became the focal point of many conversations. Unlike her uneventful first pregnancy, her second one signaled distress, causing anxiety to ripple through the park's community. The park staff, equipped with knowledge and decades of experience, could tell that Bella's labor was not progressing as it should. Elephants, known for their close-knit social structures, seemed to sense this too. Bella's herd, particularly the elder females, stayed close, providing her with the comfort and security she needed. They formed a protective circle around her, ensuring that no harm would come to her during this vulnerable time. It was a heartwarming display of the deep social bonds these creatures share. The suspense finally broke when Bella, after what felt like an eternity, gave birth to not one but two calves, twins. This was a phenomenon that hadn't been observed in the park since 1980, making it an incredible rare event. The entire park erupted in joy and astonishment. The staff, tourists, and even the other animals seemed to share in the collective celebration of this miracle. However, this jubilation was short-lived. It quickly became evident that one of the twin calves was struggling. While one calf stood up, finding its feet and beginning to nurse almost immediately, the other appeared weakened, struggling to stand. The experienced eyes of the park staff could see that the coming days would be crucial for the newborn's survival. Adding to the challenges was Bella's older daughter. While most of the herd celebrated the new additions, she displayed signs of aggression towards the twins. In the complex world of elephant social dynamics, such behaviors, although uncommon, can arise due to feelings of displacement or jealousy. But the Amboseli elephants are known for their tight-knit communities, and the elders didn't let this aggression persist. Other elder females, understanding the intricacies of their herd social fabric, swiftly intervened. They corrected the older siblings' behavior, ensuring that the twins remained safe. Bella's story from Amboseli is not just one of birthing twins, but it underscores the profound emotional and social lives of elephants. It brings to the forefront their ability to feel, empathize, and protect. Their actions are a testament to the intricate relationships they share with each other, showing that in moments of joy, concern, or danger, they come together as one united family. The Amboseli National Park, already renowned for its beautiful landscapes and diverse wildlife, and now witnessed a story that would be retold for generations, the story of Bella and her miraculous twins. The birth of Bella's twins in the Amboseli National Park was nothing short of a miracle. Such a rare occurrence naturally filled the park staff with elation and pride. One staff member, overwhelmed with joy and a desire to share this momentous occasion with the world, quickly snapped a photograph of the tiny, endearing twins nestled close to Bella. In today's digital age, what happens online can have unforeseen consequences. The staff member uploaded the image, perhaps naively, thinking it would be a source of joy for a few online friends or fellow wildlife enthusiasts. However, the sheer uniqueness of the event, combined with the touching image of the two vulnerable calves, caused the post to spread like wildfire. Within hours, the photograph was shared, reshared, liked, and commented on by thousands. It wasn't long before major international media outlets picked up on the story, featuring the image of Bella's twins in articles, news segments, and social media highlights. The world was smitten. Messages of love, awe, and fascination poured in from every corner of the globe. Wildlife enthusiasts, animal lovers, and even those who had never shown much interest in nature were captivated by the story of the Amboseli twins. 
Merchandise with the twins' image began cropping up online, and a wave of visitors booked trips to Kenya in hopes of witnessing the enchanting duo in person. However, as is often the case with virality, there are unintended consequences. While most of the world looked at the twins with affection, a nefarious few saw them as an opportunity. Poachers, who had long plagued African national parks in their insatiable quest for ivory and other elephant parts, became aware of the twins' existence. To them, the twins represented a potential jackpot, a unique trophy that would fetch an exorbitant price in the illegal wildlife trade. The Amboseli National Park was no stranger to the dark shadow of poaching. In the past, the park had suffered heart-wrenching losses, with magnificent creatures falling victim to the ruthless agendas of poachers. The staff knew all too well the dangers that loomed over Bella and her twins. Swift action was necessary. The park management, along with local law enforcement and international wildlife protection agencies, devised a comprehensive plan to safeguard the twins and the rest of the park's inhabitants. Additional rangers were trained and deployed, equipped with the latest surveillance equipment. Night patrols were intensified, and multiple undercover operations were set up to infiltrate poaching rings and gather intelligence. In addition to physical security measures, the park embarked on an extensive awareness campaign, Collaborating with influencers, wildlife activists, and celebrities, they disseminated information about the dire consequences of poaching and the importance of preserving these magnificent beings. The park also worked with local communities, emphasizing the value of wildlife tourism to the region's economy and the pivotal role of elephants in the ecosystem. The world watched, holding its collective breath as the Amboseli National Park fortified its defenses. The narrative of Bella's twins, which began as a heartwarming testament to the wonders of nature, had evolved into a global rallying cry for wildlife conservation. The birth of Bella's twins in the Amboseli National Park was a cause for celebration, but it quickly became evident that while the older calf thrived, the younger twin was struggling. From a distance, the park staff noticed the disparity between the two siblings. While the elder calf was active, frolicking around with an evident joy de air, and the younger one lagging behind, appearing noticeably frail and lethargic. Concerned about the well-being of the new addition, the park's management decided to consult their resident veterinarian. Dr. Caprono was a seasoned veterinarian with years of experience working with wild animals, particularly elephants. His familiarity with the creatures and their habits had earned him immense respect, not only among his peers, but also in the animal kingdom. Elephants, with their uncanny ability to sense intent, seemed to regard him with a mix of curiosity and trust. But approaching a calf in the wild, even with the best intentions, is no simple task. Bella's herd, ever protective and acutely aware of the vulnerabilities of their newest members, had formed a protective phalanx around the twins. Matriarchs stood tall and vigilant, their massive frames acting as barriers, while the younger members of the herd remained close, their ears flapping and trunks swaying in wary anticipation. Dr. Caprono knew that a direct approach would be futile and potentially dangerous. He and his team adopted a gradual approach using gentle vocalizations and body language to signal that they were not a threat. Hours passed, the sun moving steadily across the sky, as the team painstakingly inched closer, always ensuring they presented no direct threat to the herd. When Dr. Caprono finally managed to get near the younger calf, his concerns were confirmed. The calf was malnourished and showed signs of dehydration. It was clear that he required immediate medical intervention to supplement the nourishment he was receiving from Bella. Armed with a syringe filled with essential vitamins and a hydration formula, Dr. Caprono attempted to administer the dose. However, the younger calf, having never been in such close proximity to a human before, was spooked. His eyes, large and filled with fear, darted around as he tried to flee. This sudden movement sent the herd into a frenzy. Adult elephants trumpeted loudly, and the ground shook as they moved, trying to position themselves between the calf and the perceived threat. It was a scene of sheer chaos. 
The park staff rushed to assist Dr. Caprono, using their vehicles to create a makeshift barrier, allowing the veterinarian some space to work. With an incredible display of patience, Dr. Caprono followed the frightened calf, murmuring soothing words, trying to calm the young elephant. The elder twin, sensing the distress, stayed close to his sibling, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. After what felt like an eternity, Dr. Caprono, using his expertise and aided by the sheer determination to help the calf, managed to administer the supplement. The young elephant, perhaps sensing the benign intent behind the act, finally began to calm down. The day ended with a sigh of relief from all involved. It been a tense episode, a stark reminder of the delicate balance required when interacting with wild animals. But the younger calf, now on the road to recovery, the park staff felt hopeful. Amidst nature's unpredictability, they were reminded of their enduring commitment to the preservation and well-being of these magnificent creatures. In the heart of Ambicelli National Park, the narrative of Bella's twins unfolded like an engrossing tapestry— rich in emotion and rife with unexpected turns. The younger calf's initial fragility had been a cause for concern for the park staff, but as days turned into weeks, a heartwarming transformation was evident. The combined efforts of Dr. Caprono, the dedicated veterinarian, and Bella's ceaseless nurturing bore fruit. The once frail calf, which often lagged behind its sibling, began to gain strength, steadily growing more active and engaged with its surroundings. Yet one of the most touching aspects of this saga was the evolving dynamic within Bella's family. Her older daughter, who had once displayed signs of aggression towards the newborns, underwent a remarkable change of heart. Observing the interventions of Dr. Caprono and the tenderness with which he treated her younger brother, the elder sister seemed to internalize the importance of care and protection. It wasn't long before she was seen replicating the therapeutic exercises the veterinarian had introduced. Mimicking the gentle massages and guided movements, she took on an active role in the calf's recovery, transforming from a potential adversary to a doting and protective sibling. The newfound bond between the siblings was a delight to observe. They were often spotted playing together with the elder sister, gently nudging the younger calf, encouraging him to explore and engage more with the environment. This sibling camaraderie warmed the hearts of park staff and visitors alike. The park rangers, who had closely monitored the twins since birth, wore smiles of pride, witnessing firsthand the remarkable journey of growth and survival. Word of the twins' progress spread, and the park began to buzz with an infectious energy. After the trials the twins had faced, their recovery and flourishing relationship became emblematic of nature's indomitable spirit. Stories of their adventures, misadventures, and heartwarming moments became the staple around campfires, told and retold with growing enthusiasm. Beyond the bounds of Ambicelli, the twin story continued to resonate. The photograph that had once brought them viral fame was now paired with newer images of them playing in the mud, of the elder sister teaching the younger calf, and of Bella always watchful, always proud. These images, juxtaposed against their earlier tales of vulnerability, painted a vivid picture of resilience, making them symbols of hope and the wondrous ability of nature to heal and rebound. As months passed, the park organized events celebrating the twins— Visitors from around the world, many of whom had followed their journey online, flocked to Ambicelli, hoping to catch a glimpse of the now-famous siblings. The park, in collaboration with conservationists, leveraged this attention to shed light on the broader issue facing elephants and the pressing need for conservation efforts. In the end, the tale of Bella's twins was more than just a story of survival— it became a testament to the boundless beauty and resilience of nature. It underscored the intricate dance of life where challenges and adversities are met with strength, community, and an unwavering spirit. The park, once gripped by anxiety, now stood as a beacon of hope, celebrating not just the twins, but the enduring magic of the wild. <laughs>